Hi writers! Today I want to teach you about a new kind of writing that is called friendly letter writing. So let's think about, hmm, why do people write letters? Well, here are just some of the reasons why somebody might want to write a letter. You might want to say thank you to somebody for something they did or something they gave you. You might want to just write a letter to cheer somebody up. So sometimes you write a letter if you want to ask somebody about something or ask them a question. Or maybe you might want to tell exciting news. Or maybe you might need to apologize for something that happened or something you did. Sometimes people just write letters to say, I love you, or I'm thinking of you. Or maybe you might want to invite somebody over to your house for a play date or a birthday party. So some of the reasons why people write letters are right here. I'm sure you could come up with other reasons too. But who? Who will you write a letter to? Well, there's lots of people you can write a letter to. You can write a letter to family that you haven't seen in a while. You can write a letter to a friend. Or you might want to write a letter to your teacher or a teacher you've had in the past or even the principal, Mrs. Kelly or Mrs. Guzman. Or you could write a letter to soldiers to say thank you for their service. Since Christmas is coming up, you could write a letter to Santa. Or you might even write a letter to somebody that you've never met, like your favorite author or favorite singer. So there's lots of people that you could write a letter to. Today, I want to teach you that there are five parts to a friendly letter. So every time we write a letter, we will want to check and make sure that we have these five parts. The first part is the heading or the date. You're going to want to write the date at the top of your letter to show the person you, you are writing to when you wrote it. The second part of the letter is called the greeting. The greeting always starts with the word dear and then the person's name. Next is the body of the letter. That tells all of the things that you want to write to the person. The fourth part of the letter is called the closing. That's where you show that you are ending your letter by using words like from, love, your friend, sincerely. And then the last part of the letter is where you write your signature. That's where you sign your name. So instead of writing your name at the top of your paper when you're writing a letter, your name is actually going to come at the end so that the person that you are writing to knows who the letter is from. Let's take a look at my parts of a letter man. He can show us and help us remember the five parts of a letter. Everybody touch your head and say heading. The heading is where you write the date at the top of your paper on the right hand side. Now, touch your mouth and say greeting. The greeting is where you write dear and the person's name. Now, touch your belly and say body. The body of the letter is where you write all the things you want to say to the person you're writing to. If you want to tell them thank you or I love you or ask them a question, it would go in the body of your letter. Now, touch your knees. That's where you write the closing. The closing shows that your letter is over and you can use the word from or love or your friend or sincerely. Now touch your toes and say signature. The signature is where you sign your name so that the person will know who the letter is from. Let's take a look at our friendly letter paper. As you can see, it looks different from our story paper. There's a little space for a picture at the top, but the rest of the paper shows the lines where we will write our five parts of a letter. So the first part, let's touch your head. We're going to write the date. And you'll see there's a little calendar here to show me where I'm going to write the date. Well, today is November 30th, so I'm going to write K. 
capital N O V, the abbreviation for November. If I write this letter in December, I could write capital D E C. That's the short way to write the name of the month. Today's November 30th, so I'm going to write November 30. Then I need a comma before I put the year 2020. So that's the first part of my letter. I'm going to write the date. The second part of my letter is the greeting. Well, let's see, who am I going to write to today? I think I'll write to my grandpa since he has been in a nursing home and we haven't been able to visit him and I miss him and I just want to tell him hello and I love him. So I'm going to write my letter to my grandpa. So for the greeting, that's where we start deer and the person's name. You'll see there's a little picture of a deer to remind us what to put here. Now this kind of deer is D-E-E-R. That's an E-E -E word, but the deer we want to use is D-E-A-R. And you're going to use a capital deer to start your, or capital D for deer to start your writing. I'm also going to write my grandpa's name. I call him grandpa. Dear grandpa. Now I'm going to put a comma here. A comma here is for a little pause before I go on. So you see there's a comma in the date, November 30th, 2020. So there's a little pause between the day and the year. And now I'm going to put a comma in my greeting. Dear Grandpa. All right, now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to write the body of my letter. So for the first sentence, I'm going to indent, it's called. So I'm going to just go in a couple spaces underneath the letter D in dear to start my first sentence. And I usually always start my body with a little introduction like, hi, how are you? Or hello, I miss you. So I'm going to start with hi. How are you? Since I haven't seen him in a, in a while, I'm wondering how he's doing. I didn't get to see him for Thanksgiving, so I will say, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Now you notice, after I indent the first sentence, the rest of my words are going to line up right on the edge of the lines. See, so hi, how are you? I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. That's a capital T, I know. Um, I can tell him that my boys are doing well. Chase and Jackson and Brayden are my boys. So this is their great grandma, grandpa, I mean. I'm also going to tell him that we miss him. We miss you. All right, so, so far in my body, I have, hi, how are you? I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. My boys are doing well. We miss you. All right, now I like to write a question so that the person I'm, I'm writing to, when they write me back, they'll have something to answer. So, hmm, I think I'm going to ask him a question about Christmas. I know he loves Christmas and I'm getting excited for Christmas. So I'm going to ask, are you excited for Christmas? I'm also 
wondering what his favorite Christmas song is. So I think I'm going to ask him another question. But, uh-oh, I'm out of room on the front. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip over my paper, and there are more lines in the back. And I can ask my grandpa one more question. What? What is your favorite Christmas song? I bet he's been listening to Christmas songs in his room. Okay, so now let me double check. I have so far my first part of my letter, the date. My second part of the letter, the greeting. I have my body. That was the third part of the letter. The fourth part of the letter is the closing. Now the closing is going to be on the same side as the date and the signature. So what I like to do is fold my paper in half the long way so that I will know where to put my closing on the back. So since this is my grandpa and I love him, I'm going to close with love. The closing also starts with a capital letter and it also has a comma because I'm going to pause love and then I'm going to write my name. And he doesn't call me Mrs. Buckley, he calls me Susan. So I'm going to sign my name. All right, so now I'm going to go back and check my letter. And I'm going to check that I have five parts to my letter. And I'm also going to check for three commas. All right, let me start with the first part. The date, November 30th, 2020. There's one comma. Here's my greeting. Dear Grandpa. Oh, there's another comma. Hi, how are you? I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. My boys are doing well. We miss you. Are you excited for Christmas? What is your favorite Christmas song? Love. There's another comma, Susan. All right, so now I have three commas and five parts to my letter. The date, the greeting, the body, the closing, and the signature. Once I have all of the parts of my letter, then I can write a picture up here. I might write a Christmas picture for my grandpa, like a Christmas tree with some presents. So now it's your turn. I want you to think about who could you write a letter to today? Maybe you want to write a letter to a family member, a friend, a teacher. It's up to you. Give it a try and see if you can use our friendly letter paper to write the five parts of a letter. The date, the greeting, the body, the closing, and the signature. Please, if you can, take a picture of your letter and post it on Seesaw so we can see your amazing writing. Off you go, writers. Have fun.